so I have two of Shannon's uh, um, fused vinyl keepers and I am going to make um, a keepers one for each of my granddaughters um, because they're both uh, they both are into uh, writing and drawing and telling stories and uh, and they like to have uh, so I'm gonna uh, make some books uh, you know handmade books for them to to work in and uh, and some dollar store stuff and I think maybe I'll put a, a uh, like a, a pocket in each one so that they uh, uh, they can seek pens and stuff in them um, so I'm, I'm gonna have a, a lot of fun with this I, I probably won't um, film all of it but um, I'm going to uh, film as much of it as I uh, possibly can. As you can see, they're not quite exactly the same size. So the first job, in my uh, humble opinion, is to make them the same size. Otherwise, you know what it's going to be like. Hers is bigger than mine. Oh, to give it, you like her better than me. So, to save myself the anguish, I'm going to make them exactly the same size. All right, guys, I'll be back.
Well, so here they are finished. I'll uh, I'll just walk you through them. Um, the little uh, the little books that are inside are just um, uh, drawing paper and uh, lined um, paper, and then drawing paper, and then lined paper, uh, and then sewed together in a really simple pamphlet stitch. Um, uh, you know, nothing fancy there. Uh, and uh, I I left them completely blank because I want the kids. The the purpose of these is because the kids are writing. The girls, my grandchildren, are writing uh, stories and drawing pictures to go with the stories. And so uh, I'm trying to give them a format that will you know make that easier. So um, so here they are. Uh, they're they're both the process for them was almost identical um, and uh, there's uh, and you've seen most of it you know they uh, the uh, the keeper itself this one I cut down the, the the this this one this one I cut doesn't matter one of them I cut down because uh, I wanted them to be the, uh, the the same size but in fact the larger one is I believe the size that Shannon sells uh, and I, um, uh, yeah, so you should, you check about sizes and shapes and things because, you know, uh, that, that's completely up to her. Um, and so I, I, so that's the cover. These images that I have on the covers are from Crafty Hodges. So if you don't know her, she does these quirky images and and these particular ones she's giving away free, which I think is a you know an incredible gift. And I, I love them to pieces and I've actually tried to make them myself following her kind of guidelines. But in fact I I end up with things that are just a little too weird <laughs> for the grandchildren. <laughs> so, you know, I decided to go with something that's uh a little softer, a little bit more, um, a little bit less edgy, which mine tend to turn out to be. Yeah, what does that say about me? Oh dear. Okay, so so here we are. You've seen it. It had gesso. It had the uh, iridescent paint on it. It has um, the the collage images, and then um, and then the. Um, um, Mother of Pearl uh, structure gel, which is you know this kind of stuff, which gives it uh, adds to the iridescence and the shiny, and I think probably protects it as well. And then I thought it was missing something, so I put a little gold paint around the edges, and we have inside pretty much the same process, although I didn't cover this inside bit with structure gel. So with these little black books that I bought for a dollar for three in the dollar store. Um, the, the empty books for, for their stories. And then at the back, I made uh, a sewn pocket, which you saw with the same material. I, I made a, a bookmark and I stuck some stickers in the, in the back and some, you know, just, uh, fancy paper clips that I again that I picked up at the dollar store not not spending uh, a lot of money and then there's this little uh, dangly bit which I I did uh, the actual keychain here um, I purchased from uh, um, was a, a gift you know one of those these uh, these groups that mail out things and ask you for money well my I got one my mom got one so we ended up with two of these keychains which seemed perfect <laughs> so I bought a couple of charm extra charms to go with them I thought about putting kind of the feather embellishments on them but I thought you know those will last about two and a half seconds with the kids so uh, because you know they, they get a lot of wear and tear so um, that's um, you know th that's pretty much uh, pretty much it same one 
And here is the same, another one of Crafty Hodge's um, images, the front and the, and the little book, um, and the empty books, and, you know, the same thing here. So that's, that's what my granddaughters are going to get, probably, um, if not this weekend, then the next weekend when the video comes out. And I hope you enjoyed seeing this. I hope you really, really hope you go and um, and check out Shannon's store because she's uh, she sells these really wonderful products uh, that are uh, very flexible. You know, the, the sewing came out so well on these. And and uh, if you haven't seen Gina's video on uh, on this um, topic, you should should check that out because she's uh, made a, a complete vinyl insert for, for what she does. And uh, I'm, uh, <clears throat> yeah, so I, I recommend um, uh, Shannon's stuff to you. And, uh, oh yeah, there's Gina's stamps on here. <laughs> yeah, don't forget Gina. <laughs> well, you can look at uh, Gina's uh, stuff too. And, and I'll leave you with that. I hope you enjoyed it. And, uh, and I hope you have lots of fun, uh, well, inspired by these uh, wonderful ladies. And, uh, and we'll see you next time. Bye.